Homework 11, section 6.1, Discrete Random Variables, video 8. Before we move on to the next topic, which is standard deviation and variance, I would like to do one more expected value problem using an example that we've already seen. The example where somebody has three kids and X is the number of boys, and the distribution for X was, X can be 0, 1, 2, or 3, that's how many boys they can have, and assuming that having a boy and a girl are equally likely, there's the probabilities of having this number of boys. Also, I need to correct something from the last video. In the last video, I said that EV is an abbreviation for expected value, and in some context it is, but there is another notation for expected value that I noticed the author snuck in, and the abbreviation for expected value is capital E of X. This would be read the expected value of x. It's the same thing as the mean, it's the same formula as before. So we're going to calculate this one, but I wanted to appeal to your intuition. If somebody has kids, what percent of them would you expect to be boys and what percent of them would you expect to be girls? Well, I would expect half to be boys and half to be girls. So if you have four kids, I would expect two boys on average. How many boys would you expect on average if there were three kids? 1.5? Well, you can't have 1.5 boys and 1.5 girls. Let's not get into a sociology discussion. But what that would mean is on average, if we took everybody who has three kids and took all of their answers to how many boys do you have and average those answers, we should get 1.5. And that's what expected value would mean. But let's confirm what our intuition is probably saying about the expected number of boys being 1.5 by actually doing the formula. Again, the formula for expected value or mean of a probability, discrete probability distribution, is the sum of each value times its probability. So the value of having zero boys will occur 0.125 of the time, or 12.5% of the time, plus one boy, we can expect 37.5% of the time, so one times 0.375. For two boys, we can expect that 0.375 of the time, or 37.5% of the time, and for three boys, we can expect that 12.5% of the time of 0.125. So we just have to add all this up. I think I can do this one fairly quickly if you give me just a moment. Three, and six is nine, and, and three is 12 out of eight. Yep, it's going to end up being exactly 1.5. If you're wondering what I did, you may recall that these were just fractions, one-eighth, three-eighths, three-eighths, one-eighth. I ignored the first one because it was times zero, and what I did over here is multiplied those fractions times these numbers and added them. It wasn't that bad, and it came up to be 12 eighths, which is 1.5. So our intuition is confirmed by the math that says if you have three kids on average, you would expect 1.5 boys. Again. That doesn't mean one family is going to have one and a half boys and one and a half girls. That means if we took all the families with exactly three kids and wrote down how many boys each one had and averaged them, the more times we do that, the closer that number will get to 1.5.